Hello and welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Madsen, and I'm the counselor at Vern Duncan Elementary School. I'm going to talk with you today about some new lessons, lessons from Second Step, and this unit is called the Child Protection Unit, or CPU for short. The focus of these lessons is primarily on safety, how to stay safe and how to know what to do to make sure that you're safe. I have just a couple of expectations I want to talk to you about. The first is being an active listener. If you can, please find a place that you can listen to this lesson without distraction. But only if you can. I know it's difficult and we're all trying to work in our homes and places um, where everyone is trying to do their work. And so just if possible, try to find a place that you can listen without distraction. The next expectation is to participate. I want you to pretend just as if we are in class, in your classroom right now, and that if I was asking questions, you might raise your hand. So I'm going to ask you questions in this presentation, and I want you to think about them, maybe even say the, the answer out loud. Also, if possible, if there's an adult like your parents or your grandparents, or even an older sibling that can watch this lesson with you, that would be great because then they can help answer any questions that you might have. Let's get started. First question, who keeps you safe? Think about that for a moment. Who keeps you safe? If you thought adults like your parents or your grandparents or maybe an older sister or older brother or your teacher, you're absolutely right. They all help to keep you safe by watching after you and helping to teach you the rules about safety. The ways to stay safe. So here's a poster that I want you to look at. And it has three main points. It's called the ways to stay safe, but we also call it the three R's. And the reason we call it the three R's is that each of the points begins with a word that begins with a letter R. So the first is recognize. And recognizing is using your eyes or your ears to determine if something is safe. And then remembering what's the rule. The second R is report. And this is just like when we talked about Kelso. Remember Kelso? He talked about small problems and big problems. Small problems were smart enough and were strong enough to solve on our own. But big problems are scary and they're dangerous. And we have to get help from adults that we trust. So this is just like the big problem in Kelso. The third R is refuse. And this basically is just using words that say no or mean no. Okay? We're not saying no in an angry voice, but more of a strong and assertive voice. And we'll talk about that more as we go on. The first R is recognize. And you have to ask yourself, is it safe? What's the rule? You might be thinking, well, what are the rules for safety? Well, I have another poster that I'm going to show you. It's called the Never Never Rules, or the Eight Never Nevers. These are, these are ways to know if something's safe or not. So this is called the Eight Never Nevers. And there's eight of them. And we're going to look at each one in depth so you can see them. The first of the Eight Never Never Rules is... That's right. Never touch a gun. Okay, it's really important that we never touch guns. We treat guns as if they are loaded, and if you see a gun, you're not to touch it, but get an adult right away. Guns are very dangerous. The second is, right, never play with fire. Fire can be extremely dangerous. I don't know if you remember, but this last fall, we had wildfires, and it, they were very dangerous, and people lost their homes. 
uh, because of the wildfires, fire can quickly become out of control. That's why it's one of the eight never-nevers. The third is, you guessed it, never ride on wheels without wearing a helmet. Now you're seeing, thinking, oh, she has a scooter, and I do too. You might notice too that she has elbow pads on. And if it was a skateboard, she might, in addition to having a helmet, elbow pads, she might have knee pads to protect her body from getting hurt. There's lots of, type of types of wheels that we can ride. Bicycles, scooters, skateboards, roller skates, roller blades. All of those things require you to wear a helmet. And you know why we can wear a helmet, correct? It's to protect our brains, yeah, because that's one of the most important parts of our body. The fourth is never go in the water without an older person watching. Now, some of you may have taken swimming lessons and you're really good swimmers, but you'll know that you never go swimming unless there's a lifeguard on duty. And if it's a private pool, you also want to follow that rule. Never go swimming without an older person watching. Things can happen really fast. And while you might be comfortable in the water, sometimes things happen that make it so that you need help from someone else. <clears throat> the fifth is never use a sharp tool without an older person's help. And you can see the sharp tool that this person has. They have what looks like a kitchen knife, a sharp one. And it looks like they're cutting up a vegetable, maybe a cucumber. The sixth is never ride in a car without wearing a seat belt. This applies to everyone. We all are supposed to wear seat belts to be safe in cars. The seventh is never touch a dog without asking the person in charge. Okay, so, so this only applies to dogs of strangers. Say you're on a walk um, in your neighborhood or you're in the park and you see someone that you don't know with a puppy or a dog that you don't know. That's when it's, you have to ask the person in charge. Now, if it's your own dog, do you have to ask the person in charge to pet your own dog? No, because it, it's a dog that knows you. Yeah? This, these are dogs that don't know us. And therefore, we don't know how they're going to react. We don't know. They may look nice. They may look friendly. But we don't know because we don't know them. And that's why we ask the person in charge. All right. The eighth and final never-never is never cross the street without checking for traffic in both directions. Okay. And we usually look to the left and then to the right and then back to the left. We always want to be careful crossing streets because cars, the drivers of cars, don't always see pedestrians walking across the street. All right, so we, that was the first R, recognize. Now we're going to move to the second R, which is report. And as we talked about before, reporting is telling an adult you trust right away. And this is when you see something that is dangerous or scary, just like with Kelso and big problems. If it's scary and it's dangerous, you get help right away. And the last R, the third R, is refuse. And this is using words that mean no. And again, we don't use an angry no. We use an assertive, a strong no, a no that communicates no, I'm not going to do that unsafe thing. Okay. <clears throat> One other rule that I want to remind you about is the always ask first rule. Always ask a parent or the person in charge first. Okay. All right. I've got a situation here that I want you to look at. Okay. This is Marjorie and Angela. Okay. And they are playing at the park. And Marjorie's mom, I don't know if you can see her there in the jean jacket, she's watching them, okay? Angela just noticed a dog tied to a nearby tree, this black dog. 
It's a big dog. She decides that she wants to pet the dog, and she says to Marjorie, Hey, let's go pet that dog. He looks so furry. What do you think? Do they know that dog? Is it safe? No, it's not safe. And it's one of the eight never-nevers that we just talked about. Never touch a dog without asking the person in charge first. Hmm. So Marjorie recognized that it isn't safe. She remembered the rule and reminds Angela. She says, no, it's not safe to pet a dog we don't know. We need to ask my mom first. So Marjorie remembered the rule. Angela, though, still wants to pet the dog. She says to Marjorie, Come on, that dog looks so friendly, he wouldn't hurt us. And your mom looks busy. We don't need to bug her by asking. Hmm. Think about what Margie should do next. Her mom does look busy. And the dog does look friendly. What do you think? If you remembered the three R's, the second one was report, right? So Marjorie first recognized and remembered the rule that it's not safe. Then she, um, she refused. She said to Angela, no, we shouldn't do this without asking permission first. And now she's decided that she needs to use the other R, which is report. Okay. So Marjorie used a strong voice and said no. She then went over to her mom and she asked her if she and Angela could pet the dog. Her mom answered, thank you for asking first. That was a good job of following the eight never-nevers. I see the uh, dog's owner coming back over here. Let's ask him if we can pet his dog. So Marjorie followed the eight never-nevers and did the ex correct thing with Angela. All right. So I have a scenario here that I want you to think about, and I want you to consider what would you do in this situation? All right. A friend comes over, and they want to ride scooters up and down the sidewalk with you, but you don't have your helmet. Hmm. Riding on wheels without a helmet. Do you remember the rule? That's right. Never ride on wheels without wearing a helmet. Good job. Yeah, so you would have to say no to that friend and say, let me go get my helmet first. Or if you can't get your helmet, you would say, let's play something different. Let's choose another game to play, just like in Kelso. All right, here's another situation for you. Another what would you do scenario. Another friend comes over to your house and they show you a lighter that they just brought from their home. They want you to hold it and they want you to get some newspapers so that we, they can set them on fire. Hmm. What's the rule? Lighting newspapers on fire. If you remembered, never play with fire, which is the second never never, you were correct. You would need to say no to this friend and then report right away to one of your parents or to an adult that you trust. We never, never play with fire. Even if we think we can control it, there's too many chances that we can't. All right. I have a song here that I want you to listen to. And then when you're done listening to the song, we'll wrap up this lesson. There are eight never, never. These things you never do Eight never, never. You slim old or tried and true There are eight never, never. These things you never do Eight never, never. You slim old or tried and true The first thing you do Now never skip this rule Always ask a grown-up first to make sure things are cool Your grown-ups will protect you and make sure things are good They're there for you to keep you safe Understood?
One. Never, never, uh-uh. Touch a gun. Two. Never, never, no way. Play with fire. Three. Never, never. Go on wheels without a helmet. Four. Never dive right in. That's before you get wet. These rules can keep you safe. There are eight. Never, never. These things you never do. Eight. Never, never. Use them all, they're tried and true. There are eight. Never, never. These things you never do. Eight. Never, never. Use them all, they're tried and true. All right, but what about sharp tools or petting dogs? Number five. Never, never. Use sharp tools alone. Number six. Never pet a dog. Without asking your grown-up. Seven. Check for traffic. Both ways before you cross the street. Eight. Never ride in cars. Unless you're buckled up. Oh, nice and neat. There are eight. Never, never. These things you never do. Eight. Never, never. Use them all, they're tried and true. There are eight. Never, never. These things you never do. Eight. Never, never. Use them all, they're tried and true. Okay. Thank you, friends, for joining me in today's safety lesson. And I will see you next time. Take care.